Okay, one last Double. bit. Double. Oh, what's this book? Whatever next, Jill Murphy. Can I go to the moon? asked Baby Bear. It's Baby Bear. No, you can't, said Mrs. Bear. It's bath time. Anyway, you'd have to find a rocket first. He found a space helmet on the draining board in the Ooh. kitchen and a pair of space boots on the mat by the front door. This, what's that? Boot. Boot, yeah. Very good. He packed his teddy and some food for the journey and took off up, took off up the chimney. <laughs> there he goes. Whoosh! Out into the night in his special rocket. What's that? Moon. Yeah, moon. An owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you off to? The moon, said Baby Bear. Would you like to come too? Yes, please, said the owl. An aeroplane roared past out of the clouds. Doctor. What's that? Aeroplane. Plane. Plane. Plane, yeah. What's that? Plane. Yeah. An aeroplane roared out of the clouds. Baby Bear waved and some of the passengers waved back. On and on they flew, up and up above the clouds, past millions of stars, till at last they landed on the moon. There's nobody here, said Baby Bear. There are no trees, said the owl. It's a bit boring, said Baby Bear. Apple. Shall we have a picnic? Apple. Apple, very good. It's a bit boring, said Baby Bear. Shall we have a picnic? What a good idea, said the owl. We'd better go, said Baby Bear. My bath must be ready by now. Off they went, down and down. The owl got out and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was so nice to meet you. It rained and the rain dripped through the baby's helmet. Home went Baby Bear, back down the chimney and onto the living room carpet with a bump. Mrs Bear came into the room. Look at the state of you, she gasped as she led him away to the bathroom. Why, you look like as if you've just been up the chimney. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I have been up the chimney. I found a rocket and went to visit the moon. Mrs. Bear laughed. You and your story, she said. Whatever next. There we go. That's the last book.